are uncomfortable about how to claim their status on their tax returns. Should they be common law? Should they be single? What should they do? The point is, is whatever you actually are is what you need to be claiming on your tax return. If you're common law, you need to claim common law. But in planning, it may make sense to move in and join together at certain points of the year in order to benefit uh, from a tax perspective. Now, some people may benefit from actually uh, living together and some people may not. So every situation is different. The definition of common law is that you've lived together for 12 months. So if you are concerned about having to change your status in the calendar year, move in with somebody in February and then that current calendar year, you're still considered single because you haven't lived together for 12 consecutive months. Now, once you've claimed married status, you'll never claim single again. You'll always be considered divorced or separated. So that's another thing to note, is even if you've been uh, divorced for a long period of time, you're no longer single, you'll always be considered that um, divorce status. The most important point to know is change your status immediately. What you don't wanna have happen is have your status um, not correct for a long period of time and be receiving Canada Child Benefit Amounts or GST or any of those types of benefits based on what your current status is and then have to pay it all back when you file your income tax return and then your status has changed at that time. So as long as you're changing your status immediately, receiving the benefits that you should be entitled to, you should be um, in, the, in the position that you're supposed to be in. <music>